thank you guys so much for having us. Uh, like Justin said, my name is Cody. I am 27 years old, about to be 28 in a couple of weeks. And um, when I came into Teen Challenge, I was like many of the other people that came in here. I was broken. I was lost. I was uh, stuck uh, in a, a vicious cycle of addiction to uh, heroin. And um, I struggled with uh, addiction since I was 16 years old. And uh, I grew up in a, a great home, uh, loving parents, a little brother, and I had everything going in uh, what seemed to be a good direction. And then in high school, like you said, uh, I was looking for that group to fit into. And uh, the people that I decided to uh, choose to, to spend my time with ended up going towards that partying lifestyle, partying scene. And I found myself right in the middle of it and uh, went to treatment. Um, at a young age, thought that uh, secular treatment was going to be the cure for, for what I thought I had as the uh, disease of addiction. And uh, I found that um, through many, many treatments that the, the secular view and cure for addiction wasn't going to help me out. And um, I, through a, a buddy in high school, he, uh, after a couple of times, he came to me when I was in treatment and talked to me about, uh, about Jesus. I grew up. Uh, in a Christian home, not really attending church, just kind of, I guess, you know, had the, the views of Christian, but I wasn't actively participating, going to church or anything like that. And uh, he talked to me about a program um, similar to Teen Challenge, a little bit different, not quite as extensive, not quite as long. And uh, it as well didn't work well for me. Um, there was a lot of distractions. I was still in Seattle, which is where I'm from, and that was uh, not a good spot for me. I needed to get completely away from... Uh, all my familiar places, familiar people, uh, any access to money, uh, women were a huge distraction for me, and all those things were uh, part of their program. And so uh, my cousin uh, completed Teen Challenge back in October. Uh, he talked to my family about coming here, and uh, when I came into Teen Challenge, um, my parents were about fed up with me. Um, I'm surprised that my parents didn't just throw my stuff on the side of the sidewalk and just take off, you know. Um, I robbed, I stole uh, from my family, uh, from everybody around me to support my addiction. And um, I didn't believe that there was any hope for restoration with my family uh, when I came into Teen Challenge. And um, shortly after I got to Teen Challenge, um, I realized that I didn't have everything figured out, that uh, my way wasn't the best way, um, that I had a problem with uh, being obedient to my leaders. Um, that I wasn't submissive, that I thought I knew everything. Um, I still struggle with these things today, but uh, I have gotten a lot better. I believe in those things. God has, uh, I don't know, God has, has kind of just quieted my heart and my mind and allowed me to really just realize that I don't have everything figured out. And uh, all my brothers in the house, they keep me very accountable with that, letting me know that, hey, you don't know everything. You know, it's not all about you. Um, <laughs> Right now, we are, because of the, the amount of guys we have in the house, we're kind of in a season of stretching, uh, Justin has called it. And uh, I never really looked at it like that. I just thought, man, this sucks. You know, it's my Wednesday night. I want to go home and go to bed because I worked all day, and I'm going to work all day tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But um, I'm starting to see, as Justin said, that uh, through these times of stretching, uh, it's preparation for something ahead that I don't know about and something that God has in store for me that I like I said, do not know about. And so I just need to trust God that he is going to um, take us through this season and uh, open the doors for some crazy things and amazing things in my life. And uh, like that song said that uh, our chains are, are broken and we are set free. That is so true. You know, I, I wake up every day and I'm not dope sick. You know, I'm not struggling to figure out how I'm going to get my next fix. You know, I'm not wondering who I'm waking up next to. You know, I'm not looking for uh, my dope. How much dope do I have left? Do I have any left? Am I gonna, what am I going to have to do to get my next fix? You know, today I get to wake up uh, in a warm bed. I have food in the cabinet. You know, I wake up to all my brothers, a pot of coffee, um, morning devotion, you know, a hot shower. Uh, things that uh, we as Americans and my as myself, you know, I grew up in a, um, a, a well financed home. I mean, I had everything I could ever ask for. And like you guys were talking about earlier, uh, the things that we take for granted and feel like we're entitled to are things that we need to be thankful for, that we are blessed to have. 
So I just want to thank you guys so much for having us and for pouring into our ministry. Uh, I know that you guys were a main reason of why we were able to go to Spiritual Emphasis uh, last September. And uh, we all had a blast. The guys that were there, there's a couple of us left. And uh, we just we thank you so much for your support and, and uh, your prayers and, and your belief in us and our program. Thank you. Thank you.